A school custodian in Washington Parish was released from the hospital today. This is good news after a really scary situation at Franklinton Elementary last week. The custodian credits the school nurse for saving his life. Lily Cummings explains what happens. Thursday was a normal school day at Franklinton Elementary until I heard Miss Denise yelling through our walkie talkie and I knew it was urgent. RN Shana Turnage says she ran to the cafeteria. This is, this is where it happens. Mr. Richard was on the floor having seizure like activity. I noticed very quickly that uh, things were going south. He was unresponsive, no pulse, no respirations. I knew I needed to do CPR. Other staff members rushed the school's AED to turnage while they called 911. But before first responders could even get here, she had already saved his life. Felt a bounding pulse, so uh, I felt a little bit of relief. The entire time through all the chaos, Miss Rachel, our principal, was praying over us. And that is all I can remember is just her praying. And I think that that had a lot to do with him coming back. After spending the weekend in the hospital, Richard Simmons, more fondly known as Mr. Richard, returned to school. <laughs> Needless to say, everyone missed him. He is definitely our ray of sunshine. Mr. Richard says he has an irregular heartbeat, but he's never experienced anything like this. I guess since his son got older, it just cuts off. While he doesn't remember much about what happened, he knows who to thank. I really have to thank Shana. Because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. Even the, the teachers that prayed for me and the kids that sent me cards, you know, that's what really got me. You never know what you mean to a person until you're absent. Mr. Richard says he'll be absent while doctors monitor his heart and new pacemaker. I wish I could come back tomorrow. Hopefully the distance makes his heart grow stronger. In Washington Parish, Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News. But glad he's doing all right. Well, the school nurse says without the AED, she doesn't think Mr. Richard would have made it.